Hi folks, welcome back. So today I want to do some clearing imaging and figure out a bit, you know, a budget way to do it and also maybe a little bit of better quality way. Um, I wanted to do this for a long time. I was a little bit inspired by Veritasium's video, which a lot of you probably know. Uh, there's some other good uh, YouTube uh, creators too that have good videos on Schlieren. I'll put some links in the description. So, what is Schlieren basically, or Schlieren imaging? Well, it's an imaging technique for a photo or video. You can even do night naked eye observation if you have the right setup. Um, that shows you very detailed, very fine differences in air current and air uh, temperature. It works as the refractive index of air, you know, light speed in a medium is different, uh, yeah, it's complicated. I'm not here to explain you the theory, I'm sure there's better channels for that, but I really want to do some practice here and find out how easy or how difficult it is, try some different mirrors, try some different cameras. By the way, sorry for the echo, I had to move rooms, like I couldn't really do this at home because I have a wooden floor. You want to have a very stable floor for these experiments. So, I moved to the nightclub where I work. It's the Saddle Club in Lucerne, Switzerland. If you're ever into uh, like good live music or good parties and you find yourself in the area, um, check us out. Shout out to the Saddle Club here. So, a quick overview of all the hollow mirrors or anything similar that I found or I tried to make myself. A uh, little disclaimer, the, the telescope mirrors here, they work best. But we'll give the other ones a try. The other ones are all kind of cheap. This one is made of plastic. It's very reflective though. That's, that's a failure. I'll talk about that later a bit. Maybe one of those bathroom mirrors we can take a look. A uh, rear view mirror from a little motorbike and the Fresnel lens. I don't know if all of them will work or if I'll show all of them, but I'll give it a try. So camera wise, I would like to focus on smartphone cameras. There is actually a neat trick. Smartphones work really well for Schlieren. Uh, maybe you'll get a bit better image quality if you have a DSLR, so I'll also try both methods. And a little overview of what we can look at in the Schlieren. I thought the soldering iron could be interesting, a spray can, matches, cigarettes, a candle. And I found out like uh, there's the small type, the cheap Tesla coils, like the 10 box Tesla coils from AliExpress, they look really neat. This is actually a cool thing. If you have a Tesla coil laying around, give it a try. Also, since we're in an iClub here, maybe towards the end of the video I'll give the smoke machine a little try. So we're kind of ready with our first simple setup. I want to really try the easiest one that I found to work best first. And you only need a smartphone and a relatively cheap telescope mirror for this. Like these are um, four and a half inch telescope mirrors. It's kind of a standard size for beginners, uh, Newtonian reflector type telescopes. You find these for like 40 bucks or so on AliExpress. I have my old smartphone here on a mic stand. You just have, you want to have everything very stable. And there's a good trick with the smartphone because you have your LED that you need as a light source integrated. A little advice here, some smartphones have two LEDs on the front. Um, the one that looks more orangey, you don't need that. I would just tape this closed. And the way I do this is uh, with aluminium tape, I find to work very well. And the threading needle, you just poke a hole into the tape and the hole has to be in front of the white LED. Um, kind of like here. And it's off. This should actually not be the case. Let's just turn on the phone again and see what we get. So here we go. The LED of the phone is on. It's on video mode. Here you see the LED shining through the little hole that I poked in the aluminium tape and it's going to the mirror, the light of the LED, and it's reflecting back. Uh, I think you see it here. You see the circle on the smartphone? I hope I can have the camera a bit steady. The circle here that moves, that's like the projection of the mirror, like the retro projection of the LED's light. Yeah. And now we move the mirror, eh, sorry, the telephone back 
until we find the focal point when this light is really like the smallest and the strongest then we have to line everything up it should be relatively straight just do this really freestyle quick to show you how it works um, we have to get this up okay focal point changes but the back reflection of the light focal point has to hit your lens I hope you can see it here yeah a bit more back, a bit more back. Let's see what the front looks like. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, on the smartphones we have to zoom in. That's a little bit of uh, an issue maybe. Here we go. Yeah, we're not lined up perfectly yet. I'll do that quick and then uh, come back to you. Okay, it's working. I just placed the candle in front of the mirror. The, the important thing is that you have everything lined up straight or as straight as possible. Um, yeah, it allows a little bit on precision, but not that much. Well, now I have the focal point back. I can show you quick. Move the camera. Uh, yeah, the camera a little bit. There's the spot on the right side of the lens. So we can go back to the phone screen. It's zoomed in like maximum. Also you want to take down the exposure like the video mode kind of tends to overexpose. But let's check what happens if I move the focal point exactly in front of the lens. There we go, Schlieren. Hope you can see this but I see like the, the smoke of the candle looks really pretty. It's really nice. That's the basic simple setup that I found to work best. You can also try with the, the razor blade edge, we'll look at that a little bit later, how much that helps or what it does. So just some small details before we try out some other stuff. Um, I placed a scale beside just to get an impression of focal length. So smartphone is here, focal point two, we're at about one meter. So this mirror has about one meter focal length. Um, the razor blade trick, I think there's something about the smartphone method that doesn't make this work. Um, the idea is to cut off the beam exactly at the focal point in half, so you kind of can avoid like the double reflection. I think it doesn't work with the smartphone because the LED and the camera are on exactly the same plane. I think the camera has to be a little bit behind for that trick to work. We can try later with the DSLR, maybe this helps. But I must say I like the image, it's, it's really fine as it is actually, so let's do some more clear and stuff besides the candle. So this is one that I really like, it's just a lighter and it's only the gas of the lighter. I'm only touching the gas, not turning it on yet. I can turn it on with the flame, that looks like this. That's really pretty if you ask me. So let's check out the match. I'm sure, a match will look pretty. Have to look that I don't get in the way here. Also, if you noticed, I'm doing this with lights on, so you, the dark room is not even that important. This must look pretty. I can't see the screen right now, but I'm sure this looks pretty. And if I blow it out. See the rest heat. Yeah. So let's see if it go if it works with only my breath. Like the mirror is a bit small to show my whole face, but I'll try to put my mouth in front. I'm not sure. Maybe you can see my breath. Uh, let's try something more obvious. How does a cigarette look if we light it? Don't smoke kids, by the way, it's not good for you. So... Yeah, I hope this looks neat. Even though it's very unhealthy. So 
let's try two last things before we go to the Tesla coils. Um, how does a spray can look like WD-40? Let's see, I try not to hit the mirror. Sure, this is nice. Yeah, a tiny bit on the mirror, but I think it's okay. And I'd like to try a soldering iron. I hope it's hot enough already. Not sure. This is the tip of the soldering iron. You should see some heat going off there already. So let's put some soldering wire on. Let's see how this here looks. It's not that hot yet, but I think you can see something, I guess. So this here is the simple little Tesla coil that I got. And it's really pretty, I really like it. You see a lot of heat coming off of the arc on the top of the wire. Um, yeah, that's, this is nice. Let's see what happens if I put my finger here a bit. Get torched a little out by the arc. Tiny bit. Yeah, this one's neat. But I think the second one that I got is a little bit stronger and also we can plug music to that one. Let's see how that looks like. So this one looks neat. Let's look how my channel's anthem by the awesome Schnauz aka Somtek uh, looks like. Pretty, I like that. I could watch this forever. <laughs> that's my laptop battery dying. Yeah, okay, that's it for the simple setup. So I guess uh, it's time to look at the other mirrors. So this one here is like the big plastic parabolic mirror. I had quite some hopes into that in the beginning. But unfortunately, it, it really doesn't work. I can't see any Schlieren effects on, on the phone camera. Like a tiny bit maybe. Blow at the candle a bit. Yeah, it's not worth it. Like, yeah, I thought this could work. This was like 30 bucks or so on AliExpress. It's like an acrylic parabolic mirror. It gives you a focal point. I can show you quick on the phone here. Um, just a sec. I hope, yeah. But it's it's not a, a clean focal point, it does a lot of weird stuff. Also, focal length is very short on this mirror. And apparently longer focal lengths work better. I would go for a meter minimum. So let's grab the plastic mirror, move on to something else. Well, unfortunately the bathroom mirror and the motorbike mirror don't work. I think they're hyperbolic, like it's the opposite, the focal point gets bigger, it doesn't get smaller, and that doesn't work, like, that's a pity, but, yeah, let's go to the next thing. So, I'm trying with the Fresnel lens, and I'm, I'm a little bit astonished, it works better than I expected, it's not perfect, but it kinda works. Um, this setup is different, um, we have the light source over here, the phone, it's only on flashlight mode, we're going through the Fresnel lens and even though the focal point is very short on this one, it kind of works, but you need the razor blade. I couldn't really get it to work without. I just taped it on the front of the camera and I just tried to find the sweet spot by moving the camera. I'll give you a quick look on the display, how it looks. Very funky, I hope the camcorder can. Um, capture this but actually I'll just turn on video mode so I can show you the DSLR footage. We have a little bit of Schlieren effect. It's really tricky though to get the right position with the razor blade and the camera. Maybe this could be like perfectionized but I think I'll stick to the telescope mirrors. Just a quick look, this could work but I think the quality with the telescope mirrors is quite a bit better. Well, I just gave our plastic mirror, the big one, a last chance. And it's like kind of working a tiny bit, but 
it looks more like shadow graph than Schlieren actually. You can see the lighter gas a little bit. And yeah, even the flame. But I really prefer the telescope mirror. That was the best image quality so far, in my opinion. Okay, I guess this here is my final setup. I tried to make it a little bit more professional with the DSLR using the razor blade as well. Just maybe a quick walkthrough. It's actually running right, right now. It's looking quite decent. I'll just hit record too. Can once in a while show you some pictures from the DSLR. Um, I have still the LED of the smartphone as a light source going to the mirror. I took the longer one now. This has um, 1 meter 80 centimeters focal length. Um, it goes back. I put the razor blade. Oh, here you actually see where it cuts off. Um, you know, just right beside the LED. Then the light travels further back. Here spreads out a little bit, goes into the zoom lens. And it looks really decent on the DSLR. Um, one issue I encountered, maybe this can help some folks, um, with the more modern lenses, you can switch from autofocus to manual focus. But for some reason, the, the F ratio, you know, oh, what's the English word? The thing that opens and closes inside. I'll write it underneath. Um, that's somehow in auto mode on video, and I couldn't turn it off. I just made a, a small dirty hack. I put a little bit of tape inside the contacts that the digital lens doesn't touch the digital camera, so I can do everything manual. Uh, maybe that helps. That kind of worked for me. Because otherwise, um, yeah, it just closed too much and it looked shitty again. But this works really well. Let's uh, look at some neat stuff just before we end. I think there's still a little bit of a double reflection going on, but um, in general I'm very happy with these results, with the smartphone, but also with the DSLR. It's, yeah, you just really have to play with the settings, it's, it's a very sensitive um, experiment, but a lot of fun. So, before we get to the smoke machine, let's just do some of the stuff we already did. I mean, we all know, candles, very pretty. I just think in this setup, with the razor blade and the DSLR, it just, stuff looks nicer. So, the light trigger. Yeah, I really enjoy this stuff. Let's try some of the body heat stuff. Maybe my fingers here if I rub them together. I think this looks better than before, probably, I hope. Uh, ref, who oh, I hope I don't touch the mirror, destroy the recording. We'll see. Cigarette. I'm very curious how this looks. I have no idea right now. <laughs> okay, the smoke machine does look neat. Uh, I, I gave it a quick test. I'll just show you the setup. Still DSLR, uh, smartphone light. Just try to place the nozzle of the machine, like that it's in front of the mirror, something like this. And let's look how this looks on the DSLR. This, what you see now, is only the heat. Let's see what happens if we give it a shot. Oh, pretty! I like it! Oh, this is fun! Okay, one more time before we end. Last time, smoke machine, go! Ah, uh -huh, this is nice. Cool! So, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, please like and subscribe, that would be really nice. And see you for our uh, next video. Bye!